Well, it will be a historic day for the Lions when they take on the Crusaders this weekend in their first ever home quarterfinal match right here at the Fortress of Ellis Park. Now, a player that has been sensational for both the Springboks and the Lions this season joins us right here on the field. It's Lionel Mapu. Thank you very much for being with us here. It's such a pleasure to chat to you. Very exciting weekend up for the Lions after a great, great season. How's the nerves? Uh, the, nerves are, the nerves are okay. I think the guys are pretty much they are very excited because obviously it's a final for us uh, this weekend. So we prepared we prepared pretty well for this weekend. So I think tomorrow, uh, starting captains, the guys are probably going to be a little more, a little bit nervous. But I think for most of us, we've, we've been there before. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to this weekend. Well, it's certainly been a long time coming. There was a point where the Lions were bottom of the log, of course, not even part of Super Rugby last season. Um, but this rebuilding phase and this, um, I suppose, reigniting somewhat of the Lions has been sort of three seasons in the mating, making. Tell us a bit about um, the rebuilding phase. Well, definitely it was, it was pretty hard. I think from, for not making, uh, not being in the Super Rugby in 2013 and being in, a, I mean, a, a home a quarterfinal this year and yeah, it's, it's, it's been amazing, like the work that has been put in, it's, it's been amazing on and off the field. I think the guys work pretty hard. Uh, I think uh, all those setbacks uh, that time uh, set it up perfectly for this moment coming this weekend. What would you say has been the secret to success? Obviously, it's been lots of hard work, but how have things turned around since that point? Yes, I just think the guys, we just made a decision to stick together. Uh, we are brotherhood, we are sort of like a family here at the Lions. So everybody enjoys them, enjoys themselves here when he's in the team and he's playing, even if it's not playing. I mean, uh, we, we're trying to create that, that environment where it's you want to be here and it's fun to be here. And obviously, the kind of how we play, the kind of rugby we play, we make it fun for everybody. So yeah, it's been amazing. Johan Ackermann has been a, a big part of this rebuilding phase, um, turning the team around, instilling pride in the team. Talk us through um, how the coach has helped you as a player and helped the team. Uh, I th the coach has given me freedom, obviously. Uh, that's what, it, what he has done like from the, from the start. Says, uh, obviously, freedom to play. Uh, the game plan is not uh, restricted. Uh, we are allowed to play, obviously, within our systems. So I think it's given all, a lot of guys the freedom to play and to express their, I mean, to express their talent and their feelings on, on the field. So I think uh, he's, he's a good, he's a good uh, people's person, and, and you know, the, the players get along uh, nicely with him. And it's just that environment that he shaped and and he brought us into, and it's just it's just been amazing. Something that you see whenever you hear the press conference or whenever you meet him is he talks with such passion and such pride. He really loves this game, doesn't he? No, definitely. I mean, he played the game. Uh, you can see his love for, for the game every day. I mean, when when you come to the stadium and, and when you when we're on the field uh, training, you can see a love for the game. And so he's really, obviously, uh, we, we as players feed of him, you know, mm. and the coach is positive, the players are positive. So, yeah, we're just enjoying it. Let's talk about this new um, era of rugby that he's brought to the team. Um, also, the different way that you guys are playing. It's a lot more fun, it's a lot more attractive for spectators to see, and it's certainly the way that South African rugby should be going. Yeah, I mean, we've, it, it didn't just happen overnight, uh, the, like the way we're playing now. Uh, obviously, we took, we took some shots in 2014. Yeah. 2014 for the way we're playing now, but uh, I mean it's paid off. We all of the players bought it, bought into it, and that's how we played. We played to our strengths, you mm -hmm. know, and and the guys love it and they're just enjoying it. And obviously we now coming out here yeah, in Ellis Park uh, week in and week out. Uh, the supporters coming to watch. We have to make it fun for them as well. So we're trying to play uh, a nice brand of rugby, obviously. Uh, yeah, and, and we we're just enjoying it at the moment. Um, and we can certainly see that on the field. Obviously, going to um, Argentina last weekend wasn't a, a great result. Um, Johan Ackermann not taking his strongest team with. What did you think of that decision? I'm sure you obviously would have wanted to play the Sharks rather than the Crusaders in a quarterfinal. <laughs> nah, I think you have to play, obviously, if you want to make the final, you have to play the best teams in the world. doesn't matter if you play the Sharks, you play the Crusaders, you play the Hurricanes, you play the Chiefs. You know, we always knew it was going to be hard. Uh, because it's going to be tough uh, going into the quarterfinals, and we knew 
uh, there's no easy game going going into the playoffs. Mm. So yes, yeah, so yeah, I think last week the coach just wanted to give uh, the other other players a chance and see where they are and where we are uh, from a depth point of view. Uh, and I think there were some good things coming out of that game. Uh, uh, well, would, would we have uh, won that first place? Yeah, we would have, but uh, we can only focus on on the now and obviously in this weekend we have to we have the Crusaders. So we're here now. Let's talk about the Crusaders. For years, they've been a, a quality side, tough to beat. Um, but the fortresses of Ellis Park has sort of spoken for itself. You know, they haven't won um, a knockout game here since, I don't know, since when. Uh, we, we talked about it and, and uh, we we know the past is the past. And I mean, we take every game as it, as it comes. And, and this weekend is no different. I mean, it is a... Uh, it is a quarter-final and it probably will be a test match like type of ty type of game you know and we've played the Crusaders before so we kind of know what to expect and, and, and we prepared pretty well for, for this weekend so I think uh, uh, we, we didn't dwell too much on the past we know they're a good team we give them credit for that uh, we just have to look obviously after our structures uh, going into this weekend it's going to be a quite an interesting midfield battle between you and your opposite number um, and a very exciting one indeed no, definitely, it's always good to measure yourself against the best in the world. And I mean, uh, now in the quarterfinals playing against against Crotty, uh, to, to obviously will test me. Obviously, uh, coming if I, if I if I if I make the Springbok team again, coming up against uh, the All Blacks uh, again. So yeah, but uh, at the moment, just focus on this weekend and what, we, what I, I got to do. Uh, obviously, what I got to bring to the team this weekend. Can you believe it? You're in a quarterfinal of Super Rugby. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all just butterflies at the moment and just that excitement, you know, uh, couldn't the game be tomorrow or today? <laughs> That's what I ask myself. So yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's, a bit un, it's a bit unbelievable, but uh, I mean, we've worked out for it. We knew, we knew, I mean, at the start of the, start of the season, what, what, what we're getting ourselves into, obviously. Uh, and yeah, we prepared well for this weekend. Uh, bring a true gentleman, you're speaking a lot about the team, but you yourself have had a sensational um, 2015, uh, 2016 season, um, scored so many tries, been I think even leading try scorer in the, in the Super Rugby competition. What would you attribute your success to or your form? Well, it's all about the team really. <laughs> yeah, obviously when, when the team do well, the individual shines, you know. And um, yeah, I think the players are having good players around me, you know, players that understand me. I mean, we, we, it's not, we didn't just come, come together like two months or three months ago. It's been a process building. And yeah, and I, I've been enjoying my rugby, you know. Uh, I mean, the freedom that the coach gave us, obviously to play and play what you see and play what we feel and not just being like, uh, said like a robot just to do this and this, this and this. So we got that freedom and I got that freedom from the coach to obviously to, to, to do to do what, what I want, obviously in the structures, of course. Uh, it's been an amazing season. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, I think to myself, it can only get better, you know, uh, as we go forward. And we've we've grew as a team. Come from since the beginning of the season, we've really grew into, I think, a championship team and to a, a team that can contest uh, finals. Uh, you after your Japan, uh, Japanese experience, obviously playing in Japan, you looked a lot faster and a lot uh, more confident. Tell us about that experience and maybe how it's helped your game here. Uh, yeah, Japan was good. Japan was good to me. I think uh, uh, faster, <laughs> I think some of the players <laughs> might go against you there. Uh, but but yeah, it, it did me good. I think uh, it's refreshing. Obviously, you play a lot of, a lot of rugby, mm -hmm. also that side. And uh, the rugby is faster and sort of how, how, how we play here at the Lions. Mm -hmm. So uh, the contact, the, the I think the contact is much much worse here than it is there in the fast pace of game. They have a fast pace game there, which helped me, obviously, slot come to slot in back at the Lions again. So it wasn't difficult slot back coming back uh, to a team that obviously has won the Curry Cup last year, and so it, it just made it easy the transition from Japan to yeah. Mm. So it's really been good to me. Also a great Bok season for you, there's still a couple of matches to go, but we loved seeing you in that green and gold, I'm sure it felt good. Yes, it's, uh, it was amazing obviously being back in the frame again, you know, back playing, back playing again, uh, and uh, it can just go better and just, uh, I'm just working obviously, going to work obviously to just get better and better as, 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 as I'm in the system more. 
What does it mean for you to be able to represent your country and wear that green and gold? I saw you put a throwback Thursday on your Instagram when you, I think, were part of the 70s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was back in 2008, I think. Yeah, I just got a flashback from from, <laughs> from that time. Yeah, but being in the, obviously in the Springbok color, it's amazing. It's uh, I think I can't put it in words. I just smile whenever I think. Obviously, when I made my my debut yeah, on, on an Emirates Airline Park. Right. Yeah, and now getting to play, obviously all three tests against Ireland you know and just know that uh, we, are, we have a special group of players there as well that can only grow from strength to strength. It's definitely a different standard to Super Rugby and um, Test Match Rugby is tough mentally and physically. No definitely there's, there's, a, there's a difference uh, between uh, 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 Super Rugby and, and Test Match Rugby and of course uh, coming this year uh, we, we started slow, uh, we started off slow but I think I think that's mainly because it's a different uh, group of players, you know. But uh, we got better, obviously, as a test as a test series uh, went on. So yeah, I'm just being uh, being and seeing positive things uh, for the coming test. Um, you had a very uh, special combination with Damien Delenda. Um, it it worked and, and it looked beautiful to watch, I suppose, from the sidelines. Maybe talk us through that possibly being a set in stone kind of combination for the box for the future. Yeah, well, it started off slow because I haven't I haven't oh, played cool. with uh, Damien uh, before. It started off a little bit slow, and then we started finding each other again. You know, when uh, I mean we, we recognize it's not going to just happen. I mean uh, we're professionals, and it's gonna it's gonna happen with time. Where we were, we're gonna we're gonna we were, we're working to be obviously the perfect pair. Mm. Well, as long as the coach chooses us <laughs> there in the midfield, so I'm looking forward to them to him to playing with him uh, in the, in the, in the coming series. As, Obviously, rugby championship is next. You'll be playing um, the guys that you're now playing in Super Rugby. I suppose um, that's one up on on us, um, getting the experience from Super Rugby and then taking it into the national team. No, definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, if you can look at the Lions team, there's uh, quite a few players uh, in a, in, a, in a Springbok setup. I mean, the guys have worked hard uh, to get there in the first place, and you know, and we and it. Uh, and you can feel the vibe in, in the Springbok camp has also changed uh, as from before where the guys they, they feel much freedom at the moment yeah. you know to play obviously and, and it can only get better you know obviously going into the championship uh, uh, we're very positive going to the championship uh, we, we believe we'll be on the right track. And Alistair is quite uh, exciting on the field I mean he's allowing you guys as you mentioned to just be yourself. Definitely, he's a people's person. <laughs> I can approach him, obviously, I can talk to him, you know. Uh, and yeah, and he just wants us to play also. And you know, obviously, in the structures, you do, you do what you have to do, you know. And you just do. He just gives you that little bit of freedom, obviously, to, to do your best and obviously to make it fun. And it's and obviously at the moment it's fun to be in, in that setup. So bringing it back here, back home. Um, I know you're going to tell me we take one game at a time, but can we do this? Can we be champions? Yes, I believe we can be champions. I believe. I believe all my heart. We've worked too hard for this. <laughs> what will it mean for the Lions to be able to win the Super Rugby this season? Wow. That's a deep one. Yes. I think all those years of being at the bottom of, 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 of the Super Rugby, all those heartache, you know, not being in the Super Rugby, just been amazing. It's just going to be amazing for, I mean, for the Lions as a whole, for the fans, for everybody. Uh, it's just going to be unbelievable, I think, yeah. Well, <laughs> focusing on this weekend, you have to get through this weekend first before we can, if we can, we can talk about that, but uh, I believe we can, we, we can do it. For you, what are the things that you've seen that you maybe need to work on going into this qualifying uh, quarterfinal match? Uh, definitely, I have, I have things I have to work on. Uh, obviously, just do my my basics well, 110 percent. You know, and just be a finished uh, all-round player. You know, uh, just get the small things right, and you know, I just have to focus on the small, the little things I have to do. Uh, not change too much. Obviously, going into this weekend, uh, it's, it's just another game also, and I understand it's a final. We just. I'm just gonna do my best, obviously, to contribute to the team. Uh, yeah, and we're just gonna have to fire, gonna have to fire on all, all cylinders coming out this weekend. Something that Coach Aka said upstairs uh, was that um, to not get too ahead of, the, um, not to get too ahead of themselves uh, or yourselves, but um, to keep things simple and keep doing what um, we've been doing in the past uh, couple of months. Um, when it's a pressure situation, when it's a big match like this one. Uh, 
the mental pressure is a lot. Yeah, I, th I think the pressure, the pressure will be there. Obviously, it's a big game. I mean, uh, it's going to be a big crowd. The pressure is going to be there. I think for some of the guys that haven't played in a quarterfinal before, it's going to there's going to be pressure. But we have uh, certain calls in areas where we we take it back to composure and calmness and just get everybody on the same on the same on the same level again. So I think we have that under control uh, going through this game, uh, and I'm really confident. Uh, obviously, the guys we're going to keep our composure, you know, going through this game and just do what we do do well. Tactically, I don't think the coach will change too much. Uh, now we prepared we prepared well for them. We prepared to the best of our ability for them. So uh, we're just going to play what we see, and come Saturday, we're just going to give it our all. I'm not giving too much away. <laughs> final, thank you very much for being with us here on the show. Wish you all the best for this upcoming final. And I think we'll chat to you next week again once you've made it into the semis. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you.